Hello there and welcome to another edition of the Manitowoc Ice Tech FAQs. Today we're going to talk about a tricky bit of what people like to refer to as gibberish. So on our screen here, it says Manitowoc Ice version 3.00 EU and it gives you a build time and date. Well, you've seen blocks or the zeros and ones. We did a previous video on this. This is not the same thing. So the first thing we're going to need to do is kill power to this machine. Because what you're going to find out is actually this menu button is shorted. And that's what's bringing this up. Because if I try to navigate now, it's giving me a display watchdog error at this point. So first thing we're going to do, we're going to unplug the ice machine. You're only going to need a couple of tools to get this customer going for now. You're going to need a screwdriver and a jumper wire. So first thing we're going to do is unmount the display. So we plug this machine back in. Let's see what the display shows us. Same thing, it came right back up. So the thing that we're gonna have to do again is kill power to this machine again to get this to come back off. Now, you have to leave this cable plugged in to do what we're doing. We're gonna be the power button here in a minute. So we're gonna open up the back of this guy. We're gonna pull this around the back to expose the back of the display. You've got a little ribbon cable here that's sending the signal from all of your buttons to the display to then send the signal back to the control board. So we're gonna wiggle this off, and then we're gonna plug the ice machine back in. Coming back up. Hey, now the screen looks like what we expect to see, but we've disabled the touchpad. See, no buttons. So. What we're gonna do now is show you how to jump this machine into an ice making mode so that customer can have ice while you get yourself apart. We'll tell you what part you're looking for here in just a second. So the key here, the display needs to be coming out of the bottom right, these pins. The pins need to be coming out of the bottom right of the display. So it's a tight fit, but we're gonna jump the sixth pin to the third pin from the left. It's just a momentary jump that we're doing here. Making ice. That is what makes the power button. So this machine's gonna run. So I would tuck the ribbon so that way we don't get that back on our display as we've been seeing. Just disable that touchpad. Put this all back together. Mount it back up. Let the machine run. And then what you need to do is get this black housing, the touchpad with housing. The display is fine. The control board is fine. The defective part is the black housing. We had a short in our menu button causing our issues here. If you like what you saw today, please do us a favor, like and subscribe to our YouTube channel and tune in for more Ice Tech FAQs, more shorts, more monthly spotlights, all the content that you can find from Manitowoc Ice in the technical training and development department. Thank you.